Thank you for the support of Windows Azure. A year ago, we had nobody, zero people using Windows Azure. Today, there's over 10,000 paying customers, partners and end customers, who are building applications and moving forward with Azure. And the list doesn't end there. The progress we've made, uh, eclipsing 30% now of the virtualization market, comes through the hard work and efforts and energy of our partners. So together, we've driven a lot of volume, we've made a lot of business, we've helped a lot of customers around the globe improve their business and emerge stronger from the economic difficulties of the preceding 12 months. And for all of that, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, and I want to say a thank you in advance, because I'll tell you, there's as much to do or more in the next 12 months as there has been in the last 12 months. To all of you, thanks. We really appreciate the partnership. I'm going to start with the opportunities now for all of us in the cloud. The cloud continues to bring new opportunities. I had a chance to give a, a speech that wound up really, in my mind, framing how we think about the cloud and what it is enabling us to do and us to do together with you for our customers. I gave the speech back in about uh, February, March, actually at a, at a university in the United States, and I want to go through those themes for you again. We, we really focused in on a number of key dimensions of the cloud, and I'm going to run through those, and I want to make sure that each and every one of those, what the transformation is that's coming from the cloud, and why we should all be excited about it the new things we'll be able to do for our customers is clear to all of us. The first thing I would say for sure, first dimension, first principle of the cloud, is the cloud really will create for all of us, for Microsoft, for our partners, for our customers, the cloud creates new opportunities and new responsibilities. When we think about the cloud, just in this room, for years, there have been classes of customers that were hard for us to serve. Small businesses, departments in larger companies, uh, foreign subsidiaries that are very remote from headquarters in the companies that we serve. For those of you who are software developers, many of you have come to Microsoft and said, doing business here in Toronto. How can you help me sell my application to customers in uh, Tokyo, for example? The cloud really does give a new set of facilities, marketplace services, distribution services, customization services, that will open up for all of us in this room a set of new markets and a set of new customers. The cloud enables us, all of us, to help our customers streamline their operations and improve their agility. The, in some senses, I think we all know for our customers, their mission number one is to take cost out of the ongoing operations and maintenance of IT so they can invest more in new scenarios and new applications. Because of what the cloud, both technologies like Azure, as well as the Microsoft Online Services can mean for the customer, we can remove many of those costs and much of that complexity and enable more of the value add that all of you bring to our customers to focus in on the new applications and new scenarios our customers want to embrace. That business value that all IT directors and managers talk about. 
And lastly, the cloud brings a set of new responsibilities. When our customers start putting their data in our systems, and we'll talk with you today some about public cloud and customer-hosted cloud and partner-hosted cloud, but when customers entrust more and more of their data and operations to all of us, they need to do better and better job on reliability, security, privacy, its operational excellence, but it's also technologies that make it simpler and easier to keep systems up and running and private and secure. And as we talk to you over the course of WPC, you'll hear us talk about some of the investments that we're making in our cloud offerings in order to facilitate this path forward. So that's number one, opportunity and responsibility. We've had very good success, as I, as I remarked a minute ago, but I wanted to share with you a list of some of the customers who've already chosen to move with us, with you. So Microsoft and our partners together are helping the companies on this slide in one way or another move to the cloud. Starbucks, McDonald's, Quark, 3M, Nokia, GlaxoSmithKline, Aon, and the list goes on and on.